Well, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. Uh, a little bit of a different setup today. We are outside enjoying the great outdoors, hiding from the Pinkertons uh, with a marching machine aftermath collector box. I am a store owner. I got this box from distribution. This is being opened uh, for singles for my store uh, and also just to share with you as content. So a little different of a setup. I am, uh, we had a, an unexpected family thing come up, so I'm actually out of town, but I wanted to keep making some content and keep up the uh, the continuation of moving on to 10,000 subscribers so got to keep grinding here so we're gonna open up this aftermath box tomorrow we will do an epilogue box uh, this might be the first one of the first on YouTube I don't know uh, so yeah uh, March machine aftermath uh, boxes not moving super quick on TCG player I have some local people who are actually kind of excited for the product to be able to afford their first kind of boxes and Ooh, off the bat, we have a Halo foil, Markov Baron. Some cool vampires in this set. I do have a vampire tribal deck, so I may be looking uh, to get some cards to upgrade that. But Markov Baron, Death Rattle Oni in the etched foil. These packs are wild. Uh, I opened one box already. Sigarda Font of Blessings. These packs just have a ton. I mean, the difference in foils, there's a... Uh, not a uh, halo foil. Lighting's a little hard for me. Looks better for you. Uh, Pia Nylar, Consul of Revival. Thopters you control have hate. So for all of you Thopter deckers, uh, you've got your Thopter card. Uh, Metropolis Reformer, Flying Vigilance, Hexproof. And a Narset. Oh man, that Narset is gorgeous. Really love this card. Creatures you control have prowess. Really cool. Whenever it attacks Exile Target non-creature, non exile target non creature non land card with mana value less than narset's power from a graveyard and copy it you can cast it that's a really cool card uh it's gonna go in the 99 of a lot of card uh, decks a lot of other narset themed things uh and also decent commander this set is um the cards in it they're not over powerful they're not nothing's like really jumping at me as a like an amazing card filler out there we go or filter out i really like those coin cards Cosmic Rebirth. Nothing's really standing out to me as like a, an amazing card. I know there's been a couple commander staple conversations already. Ooh, back-to-back -back cards. We'll talk about that in the set. That's definitely going to happen quite a bit. Um, but, you know, the, the power level seems a little bit like kind of just your standard level. Nothing really extreme. But I will say uh, that there does seem to be some really cool commander center things that you could uh, pick up and put into your deck. So that being said, the set size at 50 cards is going to make a lot of these cards very, very cheap. Uh, if you are opening this up uh, for value, I hope what you're going for, I think what you're going to be going for is that you want basically most of the cards in the set. And it's, uh, it's one way to get them would be to open them from packs and you enjoy opening packs. Uh, but as far as like just getting the value out of your collection, there's just not many cards selling for over $10 to $15 right now. Ooh, Draineth Ruins, really cool card. Put Tap two to put two 1-1 one -one counters on target non-human creature that entered the battlefield this turn. Uh, so like there's good cards, like that, that's a card that will go in a lot of um, counter decks. Like there's, there's cards that people are really gonna want. It's just gonna be pretty easy to get the cards in a 50 card set. Uh, so I think uh, the way to, to navigate this set, in my opinion, Gold Forge, uh, what is that? Thopteryx? That's pretty cool. That foiling is really weird in that white section. Uh, outside of going to GameGrove.gg and supporting the channel, one of the ways to definitely um, do this set would be to share a box with a friend, I think, and open it up and you know get the cards you want, get the cards they want. Uh, that's going to definitely be a thing. And then also, singles is always the answer, especially in a set like this, when you're going to be dealing... Ooh, Training Grounds in the showcase. There's a good re, uh, reprint that's much needed. Uh, and a Vesuvian Drifter. But buying singles, especially in this set, uh, I think looking into next week, there's gonna be a lot of this product being opened by stores who uh, can or cannot sell the product. Um, I think in our local store, this is actually gonna do decently well. Again, I think the box prices being low is actually good. I think an $80 price point for a box is a win for a lot of people. Um, and I wish we could get back to that. I wish this was a 150 card set with an $80 box price is what I really wish. Draineth Ruins again. And of course, ooh, Pila Nylar. Right, so another version of that, this is the 
This is our third version of Paya Nylar in this box. So you can see you're going to get a lot of duplication. Um, that's definitely going to be a thing. Uh, so if you are opening up packs, if you're buying one or two packs from your store, I think that'll be okay. But if you're buying boxes, I really don't think you need more than one box, certainly, uh, to get basically all the cards you need or cards to trade for. Colgan Warmonger, an ogre warrior. Sorry about the camera, it's not perfect. Uh, Markov Baron again. Kenneth's Royal Funeral, what does that do? When it enters the battlefield as an enchantment, exile two target legendary creature cards from your graveyard. You draw X cards and lose X life. Where X is the greatest man. Oh, that's pretty cool. This could go in that legendary deck I was building with uh, the Joda. Vesuvian Drifter. Plarg and Narset in the Halo Foil. You can barely tell on that one, the Halo Foil. Plarg and a uh, Nasari, sorry, and a Metropolis Reformer. So yeah, pre-order prices on the Halo foils are doing pretty good. Those are pretty high, uh, but the rest of the set not not super high in terms of value. And then box prices, uh, collector boxes, really not moving at all. Like oh, Halo foil there. Really no collector boxes moving on TCG Player, like one to two a day, which is really low for a um, a new set that's coming out. Uh, so people will definitely, ooh, Narsa Enlightened Exile in the uh, the showcase frame. Look at that. That's pretty cool artwork. Uh, people definitely waiting um, to see what happens for sure. And then I think, again, a lot of people waiting to buy some singles, which could play pretty well. Listen, the set was allocated pretty heavily. Um, so stores don't have like a ton of boxes to open, like a massive amount of boxes like you would in another set. Uh, so if it does sell less, which it will, um, ooh, filter out that works pretty sweet. If it does sell less, uh, then you know people won't have as many boxes to open. That's the buy a box promo, I think. And then Karn Legacy Reforge, Karn Reforge power and toughness are each equal to the greatest mana of um, artifacts you control. That's pretty good. At the beginning of your upkeep, add for each artifact you control. This mana can't be spent to cast non-artifact spells. Ooh, interesting. So it's just all artifact. Oh, that's a pretty cool commander. All artifact centered commander. I can see it happening. That's a cool one too. That etched foil with that artifact looks really cool. Uh, I'm excited for some of the cards in the set. I think there's some really cool stuff. Um, I'm excited uh, for the idea of cheaper boxes. Um, I wish there were more cards in the set. I don't love the like middle set type thing. That pack seemed pretty rough um, uh, Arnie metal brown uh, I, I do like the you know, like the epilogue boxes one thing not a ton of people are considering the price on TCG player sellers will have to pay less in shipping because they're light uh, so that's definitely a thing to add into consideration when somebody sells a box on TCG player typically it's gonna cost them about ten to fifteen dollars to ship whereas these boxes will be five to eight so that's a big difference rebuild the city cool card Giarna dauntless general Nahiri's Resolve and a Taziri Stalwart Survivor. Man, I like the etched foils. Lately, the etched foils, in my opinion, have been the best looking. Um, that is just, that one really pops. I like it when they're artifact themed though. That one's not. So two packs left. You can see we're gonna get basically all the cards in the set out of one box. Uh, and so if you are somebody who likes cards in the set, buy up a box, get about everything you need, and trade for what you don't. But I would not go super heavy on it. Nisa's Resurgent Animus, Elves. You guys know I love Elves. Landfall, oh, this is a cool one. Yeah, this is a cool card. I was looking at that for my Elf uh, elf Tribal deck. Another Dranith Ruins. You can see we got a whole plate. Oh, there we go. This is the Ikoria artwork, really cool. You can see we got a ton of Dranith Ruins in this box and another Pia Nylar. So the duplication is gonna be absolutely nuts if you open up a booster box. So my advice, last last couple of you know seconds of this video, um, if you enjoy ripping packs, you know maybe get one box of this. Don't, don't overdo it. Markov, Baron, if you like the cards in the set. Uh, if you need to save your money for the next sets, I get that too. Uh, but you know, really one or two packs from your store might go a long way. You might get a couple of the things you want and then you can move on from it. Uh, Nahiri Forged in the Fury. That's our first time seeing that one. And then another Paya Nylar Console of the Revival. Uh, and a niv -Mizzet Supreme. There we go. Uh, so look at this. This is this is kind of going to be the story of the set, in my opinion. Look at all the Paya Nylars we got. Even duplication in just the versions we got. I mean, look at that. There's 
there's six of them six of the same card in one collector box this is going to be the story of the set in my opinion you're going to see a lot of this which is going to drive the prices of singles down uh if you're looking for product gamegrove.gg uh maybe you know maybe don't go super heavy on this set and um enjoy it if you like it uh i think the cards are good i just think man you're best off buying some singles which we'll also have on the website have a great day be kind to people around you we'll see you again next video